Hi, I'm Matt, technical trainer at Vibraline, and today we're going to go over four pre-alignment steps that will make our shaft alignment much more efficient and much easier. The pre-alignment steps we'll cover are rough alignment, elimination of obvious soft foot, bolt tightening, and final soft foot check. Completing these steps will control unintended movement and maximize repeatability. The first step of pre-alignment is to rough align the machine shafts. I'm going to do that with a straight edge. I have a 50,000 shim here. I'm going to put the straight edge on the stationary side coupling half and you can see that drags just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is loosen all four bolts and put 50 mil shims under all four feet. Check it again with the straight edge and we can see that's much closer. Also check the horizontal hop set. It appears we have no horizontal offset. It's been adjusted vertically and horizontally, so our rough alignment is now complete. Make sure to leave the hold down bolts loose for the next step. The next pre-alignment step consists of eliminating obvious soft foot. Obvious soft foot is when all four feet are not sitting in a common plane. If soft foot remains, every time you loosen and tighten the bolts, the movable machine will come to rest at a different place, making it difficult to accurately measure and correct misalignment. So you want to make sure each foot is carrying the same amount of weight. Check this with all the bolts still loose by nudging the shims under each foot. So I'm going to check that. That one's tight. That one's tight. This one is tight. And here we have an obvious soft foot. This leg's sitting slightly higher than the rest, so the weight's not being equally distributed. Add more shims of appropriate thickness until you have a snug fit. That's what we're gonna do here. And I'm adding a 10,000 shim. Check, I got it snug, 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 and snug. Obvious soft foot has now been eliminated. Next, we're going to want to tighten the bolts down. I want to preface this step by saying do not tighten the bolts down in a random order. And most people are too aggressive with this part. So it's important that you bolt the movable machine down the same way every time. The order we'll tighten the bolts will be first, tightening the bolts by hand. Second, making sure the bolts are snug with wrenches. And third, tightening to final torque or until bolts are satisfactorily tight. We recommend using a cross torquing pattern to help us. You can start with any bolt. So if I start with bolt number one, here I'm going to go diagonally to bolt number two. Long side bolt number three and back diagonally bolt number four. We also recommend making at least two or three passes in sequence. If you're working with a small flexible base motor, it may require more than three passes to adequately control unintended movement, which can occur during the tightening sequence. So now we've completed the tightening sequence. All the bolts are tight at this point, but soft foot being the problem that it is, we want to perform a final soft foot check using a different method. Mm -hmm. 
This time we're going to check it one foot at a time. When only one hold down bolt is loosened at a time, any remaining soft foot can be more accurately measured and corrected. Loosen the bolts one at a time and try to slip a 2000 shim under each foot. It's best to check two or three places around the foot in case an angled soft foot condition exists. Add shims if you need to, but if nothing will go under, you'll know that you have an equal weight distribution. After correcting one foot, tighten it back down and move to the next. Repeat this process until all four feet have been checked and corrected. On larger machines, you may want to use a dial indicator for final soft foot. Now we've completed the four pre-alignment steps. From this point forward, we shouldn't have unintended movement during the more precise steps of shaft alignment. There are some additional pre-alignment steps that we didn't cover today that are also recommended before performing an alignment. This includes cleaning the machine feet and base, consolidating shim packs, checking for runout both on the coupling hubs and shafts, checking for pipe strain, checking bearing clearances, and checking hub separation on spacer couplings. Remember that the four pre-alignment steps that we went over in this video are essential whether you are using dial indicator system or a laser alignment system. I'm Mac McCormick. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions and please be sure to check out our other videos on shaft alignment or condition monitoring training.